I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I'm going to share with you a recipe that I call my bow ties Florentine. They're so simple and easy to do, it's delicious, a little bit rich, but hey, once in a while, what does it matter, right? Um, the ingredients for them are kind of basic ingredients, now let me take you over them so we can get started. You need some bow tie pasta, some fresh baby spinach that has been washed and dried, chicken breast that's been cut into small pieces, some cherry tomatoes that I've halved, garlic, all-purpose flour, some good quality parmigiano, heavy cream, white wine, chicken stock, olive oil, salt and pepper. That is it my friend and it's going to be so so yummy and it's a great kind of put together last minute because it takes about 15 minutes to pull together so it's kind of quick. Now the first thing you want to do is get the, uh, uh, get the oven. Nuh-uh. Get a big pot, fill it with water, generous sprinkling of salt, bring it up to a boil. Second thing, I've got a large skillet here preheating with some olive oil. Doesn't have to be extra virgin, regular olive oil is totally fine. And now to my chicken, I'm going to coat it in flour. That's a little bit too much. This is going to create a nice crust on the chicken, keep it really, really moist. Also season it with salt and pepper and it's going to help thicken the sauce a bit. Yummy. So, nice amount of salt and pepper. Toss the chicken in the flour to coat well. Now just add the chicken to the hot skillet. And now the chicken's going to cook maybe about seven to eight minutes. The really small bite-sized pieces, so it's not going to take a whole lot of time. Okay, that's looking good. When the chicken is done, I'm going to remove it onto a clean plate. And then at that point, I'm going to add my pasta to the boiling water because by the time the pasta gets done cooking, everything else will kind of pretty much be done at the same time. But don't put the pasta in yet because this takes about seven to eight minutes. When the chicken's done, then add the pasta. Taking the last of my chicken out. This cooked for about seven minutes. I also just added my pasta to the boiling water. I'm just going to add a little touch more olive oil to my skillet and the garlic. This is just going to take 30 seconds or so to cook. It doesn't take very long at all, but it sure smells good in here. Okay, good. Like literally, look how quickly that went. So you can really smell the garlic, so that's exciting. Okay, let's add in the white wine. If you don't want to use white wine, by all means, whoa. By all means, just use a little bit more chicken stock. That's all. Let this reduce for about one minute. You want it to reduce by half, and then I'll show you what to do next. Add in your stock. It looks like it's a lot of liquid now, but give this about five minutes or so on medium high, and it's going to reduce by half. And once it's there, I will show you the last few steps right before we can actually get to eating it. Been about five minutes, and that's reduced beautifully. The pasta just has a couple more minutes to go, which just gives us enough time to finish kind of finish this off as much as we can before we get the pasta in there. I've added my chicken back in. I'm going to add my tomatoes. Woo! It's like a party in here today. Along with my baby spinach. This is going to wilt down very, very, very quickly. But I do want to season this a little bit with some salt and pepper. Not too much because the chicken is well salted and also the pasta is boiling in salted water. So this will only need in less than a minute, I say, for the spinach to wilt down. If you want it to happen quicker, by all means put a lid on it. But this is going to happen really quickly. Now while this is happening, I'm going to go drain my pasta and reserve a little bit of the starchy cooking water and then we'll finish up this whole thing up really quickly because I'm hungry. I'm going to add in a touch of cream. Why not? Let this bubble away nice and fierce for about 30 seconds. Excited. I've got my pasta here ready. Now all I'm going to do is clean up for about 30 seconds while that's bubbling away and get a fork and a plate because I'm going to dig into this right away. Beautiful. Let's add in our cooked and drained pasta along with just a little bit of the starchy cooking water. Not a lot. Looks good. Give that a a stir, let that cook for just a few minutes. I got got a few leaves of basil, just because I've got a little fresh plant back there, and I like the flavor. And then grate in a good amount of some parmigiano, and that's pretty much the end of that. 
Alrighty. Uh, if you could smell this, you would understand why I'm just so eager to get this over and done with so I can eat it. <laughs> it's really smelling incredible. Look at the colors. That sauce is super thick and creamy. Oh, okay. Turn this baby off. Let's ladle some in here for me. I am so excited. Oh yes, let's give this a taste, shall we? I want a piece of chicken, spinach. It's gonna be hot though, so. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Please give this one a try. Please tell me you're going to. Go to LauraInningKitchen.com to get this recipe. Try it, tweak it to however you like it, add some more veggies in, add some, you know, a few less veggies in, it's completely up to you. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'm gonna get to eating, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.